convinced that um, you are the right person in the local media to be supported. Number one, you are part of uh, SCLC. You have spent close about 15 years. 15 years. 15 years in singing SCLC. You have acquired enough experience and enough exposure to man this particular place. Uh, you have done quite a lot uh, by listing some of these achievements I read just now. And from your comments, I have no doubt in my mind that uh, you will be able to make a difference. And uh, if given the required support by the government, Nigeria will get out of the infrastructure deficit we are in today. So I say congratulations to you. I wish you the best of luck. I can assure you the National Assembly is prepared to give you all the support you require to perform ultimately. Uh, if there is any piece of legislation you want us to make, we are prepared to do it in order to make you successful. We are determined to ensure that uh, the public infrastructure the main concession in order for them to perform ultimately. We believe that uh, the government has no business in running some of the the businesses is right now, it is better left to the private sector. And the best way to do it is through public-private partnership. Uh, we have visited quite a number of countries where PPP is working. Uh, we are in Morocco, we are in Egypt, we are in South Africa, we are in Malaysia, we are also in Singapore. We saw a classical example where uh, PPP is working and it has delivered you know, uh, what's required uh, by the public and uh, it is the only way out in Nigeria. If we rely on budget, it is not enough. But we are under the road sector where a road that would cost 25 billion naira would only have 200 million naira allocated to it and the contractor Will uh, only move his equipment. He may not even access the 200 million that is provided in the budget. So it means uh, that particular project will stay uncompleted for the next how many years? 20, 30 years. So it is better we do it through PPP. As long as the private sector is willing to come and invest, and as long as government is willing to, to provide the you know, conducive environment. For the private sector to come in, invest, and, and, and recoup whatever they invest, uh, I think we will be home and dry. So, with this field of uh, this the Luis Felix, I think we better allow the Lebanese to take a bow and go. Once again, congratulations and the best of luck. The only thing is, please give us a very short document regarding your primary school education. I, I, I will. Uh,